two things. First of all, I want to say what the Bukhash Mul said more than everybody else, the Chazumish. But since there's a lot of details to explain what the Bukhash Mul said, I will start with Bukhash Mul because then if we start with the Chazumish, we get stuck and we're not going to get too much in the Bukhash Mul. But I will, Mr. Hashem, my intention is today to explain the difference between the Bilkashmul and the Chazonish, which we printed out, the two understandings. Okay? So we'll start with Bilkashmul. Yes. of the Rambam. How does the Rambam learn Mekadesh Be'anoas Milva Mekodeshes and Mekadesh Be'anoas Milva Mekodeshes? We have a rule. If a man marries a woman with a loan, she's not married. He marries with a pleasure of a loan, whatever it means. The Gemara says extending the loan. We have, there's a lot of different explanations. She's, she is married. So we have Rashi Explanation, Rashi and Tosa's explanation. We have the Rambam's explanation, which Rabbeinu Hananel can be nearby or next to him, like him. And we have the Raiven, which is the middle ground. So the Brika Shmuel is focusing Rambam against Tosa's, and he wants to also explain the Machloit between the Rambam and the Raiven. This is the goal of the Brika Shmuel. Again, I, I assume that people know what Rashi and Tosa would say. I assume when the people know what the Rambam says and what the Raiden. But let us not assume, I will say what they say. And then we're going to explain what's the argument of each, what each one holds. And this is what the goal of the Mekash is, this is a no-say. Again, we have Rashi and Tosfa, that explains the Gemara. We have um, the Brazilian guy, she's sitting next to you. Because he doesn't understand the word English. Again, with the help of Hashem, we have Rashi. We have Rashi and Tosfot on one side. We have the Rambam and we have the Raiden. Those are the three camps. What? Yes, Ananas Milva. Milva and Ananas Milva. That's all. So we have the Bikashmul's understanding. We're going to explain his understanding with the help of Hashem. And I'm going to explain the Chazonish and we'll see the differences. And the Chazonish is, is, is solution is harder. And I think the best solution and the deepest solution is the Bikashmul. So we're going to explain and prove it and show why. This is our goal today. And I want to say some new chidushin that came to me today, new understanding, new insight. And I want to give over today. I'm going to make all excited about it. Rashi and Tosfot, they learn the statement of Abaye. Abaye says, if a person marries a woman with a loan, she's not married, but with a pleasure of the loan, extending the loan, she's married. What does it mean? I'm giving also the Chazonish. Those that don't have the Chazonish, we didn't get to it yet, but we're going to give it later on. We'll probably get to it. Okay. Listen. So, Rashi and Tosfot, what do you mean? Chazonish. No, we'll give it out later on. We'll give it out. My brother is, I'll give him the Kabbalah. When I get to it, guys. Rashi and Tosfot learn that the definition of the Gemara, the explanation of the Gemara, if I marry a woman with a loan, she's not married, means I forgave the entire loan. So listen, I want to marry with a loan. I gave you a loan, 
two days ago for 30 days. I want to marry her alone. means I forgive you the entire loan. She's not married. Because a loan is not something physical that you marry with. It's not needy. He has to give needy something. A loan is not needy. That's what she learns from the airport. It's nothing. Okay? This is Gemara. But if I marry a woman with extending the time, and Rashi defines what change, extending time means giving more loan. So the same way I cannot marry a woman with the first 30 days that I give her forever, I cannot marry with extending the loan, it's just giving more loans. That's what changed. Why she says no. Why isn't that time? Why can't be the loan? What? Why can't be the time, not the loan? So Rashi says, if I cannot marry with a loan, Surely, if I extend the loan, I actually cannot marry one with it. That doesn't prove it's the loan or not the loan. It could be the extension of contrast of the loan. No, wait. It's a kalvachom. If I forgive her the entire loan, she's not married with a loan. Or if I give her a loan for another 30 days, it's even less of a gift. Surely, she's not married. That's if you explain the relationship like that. But you explain a different relationship. Than okay. But I want to say Rashi simple. So what Rashi says... But if I marry her with the pleasure of forgiving the loan, or with the pleasure of extending the loan, that she would pay someone to get me to agree to forgive the loan, or to agree to extend the loan, she's married. So the way Rashi defines <coughs> marrying a loan, she's not Mikodesh, it means no matter what, if I forgive the entire loan, she's not married with the loan, with the, with the debt. And if I extend the loan for another 30 days, Kalvachoy Momosa, I cannot marry with that. Because not, it's not me, it's not something that I give her. From Rashi seems to be maybe by, by, by selling, it's not there for, and I can buy and sell with it. But for Kiddushin, it's not physical, it's not me, I didn't give it to her, it's not his, the whatever you want to say, it doesn't work. That's what Rashi says. But if I don't marry with forgiveness of the entire loan, or if I don't marry with extending the loan, I'm married with the pleasure that I agreed to forgive the loan. Or I'm married with the pleasure that I agreed to extend the loan, which is less of a pleasure, but both are pleasure, that she would pay me to forgive the loan, someone to, to appease me or to appease me to forgive the loan, or she would pay me to extend the loan. With that pleasure, I can marry. That's called anuas milve. Pleasure that comes out of the milve, out of the forgiving of the loan, or after extending the loan, you can marry me. And with the loan itself, you cannot marry doesn't matter forgiving the entire loan or extending the loan. But with the loan itself of totally forgiveness of, or extending it is nothing. This is Rashi's loan. Okay, this is clear. We learned it the last two weeks already. Okay? We went to Rashi. Now, we're going to go into the Rambam. The Rambam says that it can marry a woman with the pleasure of a loan, but I cannot marry what a loan means, that if I marry a woman with the existing loan, she's not married. If I already lent her the money, and a few days later says, I want to marry her with a loan, I cannot marry with a loan. And no matter what, if I forgive the entire loan, the pleasure that she gets from the forgiveness of the loan, if I extend the loan, or the pleasure of, of, of being happy that I extended the loan, either way, the loan itself and the pleasure comes out of the loan is zero. The only way I can marry a woman, the Rabbam says, that if the beginning of the loan, when I have the money in my hands, I'm giving the money to the woman, I say, you're going to be married to me, the fact that I'm going to extend the time, and that extension of the time of using the money and that extra time that I give you, or the time of the, of the law that you're using it, that usage with the physical command that I give you, I'm marrying you, that works. This is what the Rambam says. The Raive, which is a third opinion, is a middle opinion. The Raive says, no. The Raive says, if I marry a woman with the law, she's not married. But if I marry a woman with extension of the loan, she's married, but not that I gave her the money in the beginning of the loan. is in the time of the 30th day, I have the money prepared in my hand to be paid, and the husband says, leave it by you. The man says to the woman, leave it by you. And you would pay me to agree to let you use this money for another 30 days. 
that happiness that you're going to pay me for usage of money for only 30 days, I'm marrying you with that. This is the guy. That's good. That's good. What is our problem on the table? The problem on the table is, is the statement of the Rambam and to understand the Rambam. This is what we want to go today. We want to know today why the Rambam says a statement that Rashi's Pshat is off the wall, I can't even hear it. My Rebbe said a Pshat, the ain't of all your shoyimam, it's not proper even to hear them. It's a very hard statement. Why can't I hear Rashi? Well, in a second, the Rashi will prove that Rashi's right. Rashi, Rashi makes Rashi. sense. Rashi. What? Rashi. Not Rashi's right. Rashi yeah. is camp, Reef. Same camp. Okay. Just because everybody knows Rashi, I'm saying Rashi. Yeah. Rashi does the Reef. So he's saying that what my Rebbe's taught, which apparently what Rashi and Toysa said, I don't agree with it. Or the Reef. I don't agree with it. I don't agree with the Reef. I can't even hear what they said. The Rashi asked why. It makes sense what they said. That's number one. Number two, we want to know in depth why the Rambam said what he said that in the beginning of the loan he gave the money and he's not happy with the Raiva that when the money is all prepared to be paid, is that enough to marry a woman with that? What happened? What changed? So what's the Machloik is the argument between the Rambam and the Raiva? And why the Rambam and what's the argument? What each one, what each one argued there? It's an argument. Not that he can't hear the other. There's an argument. But against Rashi and Tosan, he's like against the reef. He can't even hear them. This is our search investigation today. This is a search and investigation of the Nikashmo. Why? Now he brings the Rashi. He brings the Rashi. The Rashi asks a question. This is the first paragraph in Aleph. Okay? So I hope everybody read it inside. I'm going, to read, I'm going to say it by heart a little bit and read the key lines because I don't want to be stuck in out because everybody learned it already. And I want to more focus between the Ramam and the Raiva, that's argument, and go back to explain Rash and Rif, Rashi and Tosfet against Rambam and against Raiva and what's the depths of the Machlech. And I want to summarize the whole Rikashimur with the help of Hashem today. And we can do it, we'll go into the, the, the Chazamish and explain what's the advantages of the of the Rebchaim Alevi Rebchashmuel against the Chazunish. Okay, this is what we want to do today. It's a lot, but if you give me the time, and the Bez Hashem, Hashem, we will have Hashem able to give it over. Yes. Does it have to be that the the, the usage he has more usage? That it has, is it totally on that point, or you can understand it differently? Again, more? again. You said that the, she has more time to use the money according to the Rav, but I don't agree that that's the point, that there's more usage. The word usage is used, but it means it doesn't mean the actual usage. Okay. It means, means what? It means that in her mind, when she's getting the loan at the time that she gets it, she knows she has time to find new money at the end, much more than average, and she's very happy about that. Not that I, can, I can accept that. Okay. I can accept that. This is the way that Tosot Reed defines it. But that's not the way the Bikash Shmuel defines. It's not awful or impossible. But I don't think it's the truth. Okay. You will then listen why. We'll explain in depth with Zat Hashem why. Why we don't, why we don't say that. Well, Zat Hashem will explain. One second. Like, before you ask your question, please, I'm sure I don't forget. Don't remember your Pshat. Don't forget your Pshat. I'm not forgetting. Your Pshat is a good Pshat. <laughs> but we're going to say it's wrong Pshat. It's a good pshat that the Toysha Srid learns, but it's wrong in the Rambam the way that the Kashmul is defining it. And he defines very depth, and you say why it's off. In the end of, in the end of this year, with El Rashid, you're not smiling with his eye hot. So that's this is really what I might go. Yeah, so you're different way than different, you're Yeah, I'm not disagreeing with Zara, but I will you're, say you're why. In the Kashmul, why it's shot, why it's all, and I think that's a true pshat. And then we'll see in a second. Okay. You understand the logic of it, and then just wow, it's hot, I understand it. Okay? That's not the shit. This is one of my main goals to me. So listen with Elohim Hashem. Yes, Abiyushua. When it comes around to the Rambam and the Rashba, you're saying that the Rambam says she gets the loan again anew. Correct. And, and she's Mukadesh. Correct. The Rashba says it stays by her. Correct. And she's Mukadesh. Correct. Because I'm not married with a loan, I'm married with a happiness of forgiveness, extending, that you'll pay me to forgive you, pay a punta for it, or dance for it, the same thing as I'm not. Yes, 
That's Rashi Tosfos. Comes the Rashbo and says, wait a second, I don't understand why the Rambam does not accept Rashi and Tosfos. Okay? This is our goal. The Rashbo asks, wait a second, what's going on? If I dance in front of someone, or I make a joke, you know, schok lefona and record lefona. The woman tells her husband, dance in front of me. Moshe, Sarah, do you know how to dance? Professionally? You better stop learning. No. Want to get married? They got schok You have to be a comedian, otherwise you're not going to grab girls. We want to have one girl. We have to grab. We have to capture. Schok lefonai, record lefonai. The woman says, "Make a joke in front of me, laugh in front of me, and I'll marry without pleasure." The Gemara says she's mekudeshin. There's a problem about save war. A lot of money. What? You save a lot of money for the marriage. Right? But you make you make a joke. You, you, you joke, dance. Okay, it's value of a pruto, she's married, without pleasure. You have to learn the Gemara detail what it says there, but that's what it says the bottom line there. It says to do milvim tchilat soif, tzorav asoif, but Lemaise, this is the final level that comes out. That this pleasure of dancing in front of me or making a comedian a joke, I receive pleasure from her to me and she's married. <clears throat> okay, this is the Gemara. The Gemara says, it's not that she's, this is very important, I want to hear. You hear this little story? It's not that she is he, a, how do you say, a poil. He's not, worker. it's not a worker. She hired him to work and to dance. It's not that. She didn't hire him as a worker. She received pleasure from him. Very important definition. It's not she hired him as a worker. Because a worker that you hire, even if it didn't give you pleasure, you hire him, you have to pay. It's not, it's the pleasure. It's the pleasure. The result of the pleasure is not the working, it's the pleasure. But it's a pleasure that comes from his body to her body, from him to her. I'm willing to do that, to give you that, to be a cause, his physical body that he's dancing, his physical mouth that moves around and makes jokes, and he uses his mind to move his lips to have the best joke and to, with all his wisdom, to think one way and he moves another way and you laugh, oh, what a sharp thought, and he's happy, and she's expanding and feeling good about it, and it's value. People go to comedian, who knows what uh, movies and stories that they pay for it? It's money, it's a gift from her to him. So, as the Rajma says, we see in that sugi in page 63 that that pleasure is considered pleasure from him to her, from the husband to the wife. So, if so, he says, I don't understand why the Rambam argues on Rashi and Tosat and Rif and his rabbis. Why is arguing like him? Why? What's the problem? True, and I forgive the loan. After the loan, I can give her really something. It's not his. Right? I agree to that. It's not his to give. It's already in her hands. It's not his. Ain't a shaloi latet. But when I forgive that, she's happy. Wow, she feels good. I forgive the entire loan. She's happy. And it's worth the putters who pay for that happiness. It's like dance in front of me. Make that decision to forgive me the loan. It makes me happy by that, that decision. Or, or the decision to extend the loan, it makes you right now happy. See why Rambam? Once story. we explain why Rambam knocks that out, that's why you pay what you're happy. That's you understand it? Makes happy that Wait, <laughs> so <laughs> the last was Kashi is, this happiness exists in the Zavaya of Puto. So why you cannot marry a woman with this? Well, there's two different types of happiness. Is Very good. And, 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 and it's not the same thing. And explain me why it's not the same thing. This is the last was Kashi. This I want to hear from you. Before I will hear from you, I want to first say it over. The Rajvah's Kashi is why the Rambam doesn't like Rashi's Tosot Rif's Pegush. That marrying with the pleasure of the loan means the pleasure that comes out that I forgave you the loan, I extend the loan, and you're happy about it. That decision that I made to extend the loan, forgive the loan, is a decision that she makes, she makes her happy. So why can I marry, and, 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 and with happiness and pleasure, you can marry, like dance in front of me and, and laugh, make me laugh. And it's a pleasure comes from me to you. I made that decision to give it a pleasure. Okay, this is the cash of the Rashi, why you argue So before you answer, because you want to say the first, I want to hear from you. To, re, to forgive alone is relief, not a pleasure. It's a relief. In the moment when you hear it, it's yes. a pleasure is active. When? Relief is, is a mamela. Okay. And Let me tell you a secret that I heard from my father. He said it here a hundred times. He says one of the biggest pleasure in the world is called znus. You know what znus? You know what znus? 
How do you say zlu? Prostitution. Prostitution. Prostitution is one of the biggest pleasures in the world, right? It's one of the biggest pleasures. Yes. Prostitution is one of the biggest pleasures. Actually, the one is... He says, when somebody gets a bite, right? He used to say many times, thousands of times. It's nos. He said, somebody has a mosquito bite and he rubs it. It's a relief of pain. But that relief of pain, later on, it grows big and bigger. That's what he used to define. But I want to extend the concept. What is, what is really, anybody knows what is nos? You have pressure, relief. As a person says, you have all those things in a person's mind. The release of pressure gives endorphins, whatever you call it, that's positive. That's how it works. That's the definition of pleasure. So you can't tell me... That's a reaction. It's a reaction. That's called that's pleasure. That's, that's called pleasure. So what? I have pressure. It's a different type of pleasure. Is that the same kind of pleasure? Who said... What? It's not, it's not the classic pleasure. Why? Wait a second. Wait a second. A different sort of wait, wait. Let me tell you why. What is, it? What is a joke? Well, she used to define what is a joke. He says there is many levels of joke. But the most basic level of joke is like this. He says we have a child who walks... And he walks next to a corner of a table, and boom, bangs his head. Everybody laughs. If it's not your child, you laugh. Why? <laughs> Why? Oh, your child didn't realize. And when I said now, now your child, you, everybody laughed. Why? Because the mind thinks one way, and then a sharp turn, it turns another way. That sharp turn of relief of one thought to the other makes you happy. And you know, it's not that the is going to say that they don't... Okay, I'm not saying, I'm not saying is, I'm not saying is, but it's very hard to say that it's not considered pleasure. Okay, okay. okay. it's very hard to say not it's not considered you, pleasure. You, you, which your eye is so hard to say the way, because you explain your way, I put it a different way. That you're yes. heck rock, no, my heck right. is that you have to prove that this pleasure is not considered pleasure. No, but you have to prove your way, and you didn't prove it, you just said it's worse, it's worse, it's a filthy move rock. It's not a half you have a riot. You said it's I'll give you a riot. Okay, give me a riot. I'll give you a riot. Listen carefully. All, the, all, all your, your stender. The Gemara gives the three, reasons, three cases. One case is, is, I will dance. Second case, I'll make you a joke. A third case, I will talk to the government to relieve you from the debt. I relieve the debt. And that's a mission. That's something you want. That's a mission. That's not right. That's, a, that's something you want. You that's want a relief right. of a debt. That's a relief of a debt. No, what you want. That's a relief of a debt. No, 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 I know because no, no, because it's alone. Where does the rabbi pass? Because he passed in his meal with the kill about so. There's the two sides of your mouth. Also, that is off. That also is off. Mitzad alacha because the meal with the kill about so. But if you talk about the concept, it's considered a pleasure. No, uh, that's another learn. I, I'll explain that to you, not now, because I want people to make sense. Otherwise, it's not a riot. What? But that's third step. Third yes, step. that is not a riot. I'm listening to you. But be quick, because the time is up. Yes. Because it's the thing that you want. The same way you want You want to dance, because you want to do you want to be taken off the hook from the government. No, he's coming to her. He says, I want I will talk to the government. You owe money to this guy. I will talk to him and relieve you dead. She's married. Oh, he yeah, he comes to her. A double of a I will speak to the man, to the few. She didn't ask him. To the bear of he knows her. Her neighbor, she's crying all day, every night. She cries out money. She goes in the streets and collects that money. I need to pay the money. Help. How does he know? He knows. He tells her. That's all. That's it. That's it. Let's continue. Okay. Okay. So now let's continue. Now, so the first step we want to know, why this is what i The first step we want to know, why the Rambam argues on the definition of Rashi Tosfot and Rif. Of what does it mean man with a pleasure of a long? According to the Rambam, eh, sorry, Rashi Tosfot and Rif means that I'm marrying her from the happiness that he extended the loan or he forgave the entire loan. Which she will pay for it to make somebody to her to agree. She will pay a puta for it. So Lichoyo, this would be similar to dance in front of me, be happy, speak to me to the government, the double Kalashiltoy, to relieve a debt. So uh, there's a happiness, you can marry with that. So what's the difference here and here? It's all the same. This is the Raj Moskash. And if he says, if, if you're going to give some kind of chiluk, the Rikash Mon says, if you're going to say some kind of chiluk that dance and be happy, and I speak to the shul, turn is off, good. 
that's off. But, sorry. All right. Forgive it alone. The happiness of forgiveness alone, extended alone, that happiness, it's not considered money. But dancing and joking, and I speak to you to the government, it is considered money. Whatever you can give a chiluk, it's hard to chiluk, but if you give some kind of svar, because Shmuel doesn't give the svar. So if you give some kind of eza svar, still he says, this is the next sponge we want to search today. The Rabbah himself didn't relieve his own problem. And this is where he wants to knock out Yosef. He says, listen, the Rabbah himself says in the beginning, when I give the loan in the beginning and I tell the woman, listen, I want to marry you with what? With using the money and then not for 30 days, for 60 days. It works, the Rabbah says. Right. Not for using, you say using the money. That's right. So he's saying, listen carefully, listen carefully what he says. This is because he wants a question. I'm reading the word because the doctor gives you argument with it. I know he's, he can't listen, 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 listen. I'm in the last three lines of the first paragraph. Mm -hmm. Also in the beginning when he lands on the money. This is a very important statement. He's not marrying her with the body of the debt. I translate Milva as a loan means a debt. He's not marrying her with the body, I call her body, of the debt. He's not marrying with that. What is he marrying her with? Ella Ba'anoas, with the pleasure, Antona Zim, the pleasure of extending, waiting more time. The ain't of oil, and that is not in the world. See, he's saying, what the Rambam got out of the same, loop, the same loop? If the Rambam says, I don't hold Rashi Toso Drive in Rif, that pleasure that if he gives entire loan, a pleasure of extending the loan in the 30th day is out, for some reason, it's not positive uh, pleasure, uh, it's not that was somehow or some chiluk. So how the Ramah himself got out of that loop? Because the Ramah says, when I give the loan in the beginning, and I extend the time, she's married. So so up, I'm married with what? I'm not married with the money I'm giving it to her now. I'm not marrying her with the debt. I'm marrying her with what? With the pleasure of extending the time. It's not in the world. So what did the Ramah gain by what he said? This is really the kasha of the Bil Kashmur against the Rambam. Because I don't understand the Rambam in two ways. I don't understand the Rambam why he argues to say they're off, Rif and Rashi and Tosfum. And I don't understand the Rambam himself, how he got out of the loop. He himself that says when he gives the money, and he says, I'm not marrying with the money that I give, I'm not marrying with the debt, I'm marrying with the pleasure, pleasure, pleasure of extending the time. So if that pleasure is off, because you cannot marry with pleasure, because not like Schoklefona is out, also this pleasure is not in the world, so it's also out. So where I gain the fact that the money, I'm giving you now the money. I'm giving now the money, I'm not marrying with the money. And I'm marrying with also, with, with the, with, I'm not marrying with the debt as well. I'm marrying with the pleasure of extending the time. That pleasure is out, it's, in the world, it's not in the world, so it's not tangible. So it's also out. What do you gain? What did Ramam gain? But what are you saying? This is the kasha of the big kasha. The reference that you can use, if you don't agree to his premise, then you can have a different opinion. Okay. You agree to the premise. Okay, you don't have to agree. You have to show. I can show you why. Show, show you why I'm willing to hear. I'm willing to hear more than happy. Yes. Because he, not in the world, he said not in the world means you, it can't be a hefsa. I say it is a hefsa because in her mind, the fact that you, anyone takes a loan knows if I give you six months to pay back month instead of two weeks, is a tr just hearing the words and knowing you have that, that leeway when you get the money, you have so much time you have to think about. That's right. a tremendous pleasure. It's not Great, a Great, so why knock some cash into us? So let's see if the tr it's already something. So show in Rashi. If pleasure is something, let Rashi and the Reef come in. If the, something is this pleasure is out, so, so Rambam's flesh is out. What you, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a loophole. Like we have to, well, what's going on? He's saying like this. He's saying if the Rambam doesn't hear the Rif and Rashi and Tosfat, he says they are out. Because. Why are they out, he says. Because for some reason, this pleasure he cannot marry with. It's not like pleasure of dancing and being happy and that was she was doing some hours out for some reason. So if that pleasure is out and there's a chilu between that pleasure is good and, and pleasure of forgiving the entire loan or extending the loan, that pleasure you cannot marry with. 
So the rabbi himself that says he's marrying when he gives the money, he's not marrying the gift of the money. He's not marrying with the debt and not with the money. He's marrying with a pleasure. That pleasure is what? It's in the future. It's not in the world. So how he can marry with that? Why that pleasure that doesn't exist? Well, it works. So what changed? See, the different perspective. You don't have to agree with that premise. You don't have to express it. I don't agree with that. You, have to, you can say only one. Right? It doesn't it's okay. agree. I don't have to agree. I want a solution. That's it. I don't have to agree. That's like the that it's no I, not to agree. I also can tell I don't agree to what you say. No, I said, that's why well, well, the Rebbe said that you can't. I know what the Rebbe said. I want to no, give you a solution. Said, he said, he said, you have a solution? Yes, I have a lot of solutions. There's a tremendous pleasure in, in, in the. In so, also Rashi's pleasure is tremendous pleasure. If I could give you the entire world, there's also tremendous pleasure? No. I could give you the entire world. That's a Mimela. That's a Mimela? Yeah, yes, it's a Mimela. And, and if I give you the money and I say, I'm not married with the debt, I'm not married with the money. I'm marrying wood, extending the time. The time, the time. The right, so the Lord, time is what? The time. I know the time. Time is the hardest thing to find. The Rebbe said that the Rebbe Zimmerman said the hardest thing to find in concept is time. Time, and time, it hurts. So you heard what you said, time. No, it's, so what happened if the middle of the law? Listen. Means, for you to pin it sorry, down. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And you're trying to pin it down. No, 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 no. Listen down. carefully why you're wrong. Yeah. Because in the 30th day, if I extend the loan, I also give her more time. The Ramam says it's off. No, because because, because what? I'll tell you the difference. Because you the when difference. you first get a loan and you, you're very interested to know what, what's the terms and how you're relate. And now and, and then, then the loan is coming to and be paid and, and you don't have the money, you're not interested to extend the loan. Not, not, it's it's more time is not but you said time but you said time is something. Time is pleasure. It's a pleasure is pleasure. Here's pleasure is pleasure. What's pleasure and what be? But you you don't relate to the Rebbe. he said You're not related to what I'm saying. I am listening very carefully. I'll answer you. It's a heel between that time and that time. That's the same thing. What's much more pleasure in the beginning. Much the more. Oh, oh, you said you heard of much more. Right. So but wait a second. Yeah. Wait a second. But listen, if I lend her ten dollars in the beginning, yeah. it's pleasure. I give her time. And, no, and no, well, no, listen, listen, the yeah, but I, see, I, see my question. I'm going to give you a question. And if I lend you a million dollars, and now in three days you have to pay it, and I extend you another year for the money, is less pleasure than ten dollars in the beginning? Come on! No, pleasure is pleasure! You want to measure it? No, that's a... That's yes! No, okay, the, you, you go to score, that's a score, that's my half part. That yes, for us. Small as it is. Common sense is it. Common sense is it. Okay, enough, enough. That's it. I, 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 I gave you the time. You Finish. I gave you the time. The common sense is common sense. Okay. Not common sense. Okay, you can argue. You can argue. You can argue. But I, I'm not here to convince you. I'm here to convince the public. And I know okay. what the public thinks. So let's continue. So now... Just want the people to hear the value of what he's saying. Good. You have a point. We have to think about it more. But there's not Hashem. It's not the time because I don't want people to lose the focus. So what do we have here? We have here basically two problems in the Ramam. Number one, why the Ramam rejects the pleasure of Rashi and Tosod and Rif, which is a pleasure. It should be similar to Schok Lefona. Pleasure A, pleasure B, but it's a pleasure. Okay, you can make Hinukim in pleasures. And his own pshat is also pleasure. Because when he gives the money in the beginning and he extending the future loan, so it's future. And she's married now. So you have to translate the future to pleasure now. So any other man with pleasure, so what's pleasure and pleasure be? What's the difference? So what do you gain? If pleasure's out and there's not scope, so your pleasure of a loan is also out. Because you're not married with the body of the money. You're not married, married with the loan. Married with the usage. Usage is future. And she's not married in 30 days from now, she's married now. So you have to transfer the future that she gave her right now pleasure. So it's pleasure. It's pleasure, pleasure. So why the Rama says, your pleasure is wrong, my pleasure is good. What's the difference? To make some kiluki, it's very hard to say. This is the big Kashmul's problem. Okay. Okay, I heard, I heard what you said. I heard what you said. I want to say the big Kashmul, and after the big Kashmul, I want to hear again what you said, you hear them, to hear. If you, if you have another pshat. Now comes the Bikashmul and says, I give you a solution. So listen carefully how the Bikashmul gives a solution. Why the Rambam knocks out uh, Rashi Tosot Reeves' pleasure. Okay? And then he wants to explain what's the difference between Rambam and Raibet. Okay? So that I want to add today, the Rambam and Raibet argument. And I want to explain even to the end, because then he looks, he really a little bit changes it to redefine the Ramam and the Raivet, and then the last piece of Zayim. So I want to re explain what he's saying, 
and what's the machlokes in the Ram and the Ram well and the Raya from 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 uh, from Ribis, he redefines what exactly the argument of Ram and the Ram. Okay, this is what I want to do today, and then we'll have more time with Rabbi Hashem to explain the Chazonish. Comes the Brikas Shmuel and he says, I have a beautiful answer. The Rambam has a different understanding than the Rashbo. It says your premise of your question is wrong. Your premise of your question is wrong. Now I'm talking to you. you used to be in the Asri Yeshiva many, many years ago, if I remember correctly. You used to be in the Asri Yeshiva many, many years ago. Well, 40 years ago or so. Arbaim, who could say I remember it well? Baruch Haba. I really never know your face. Good. So now, listen carefully how the Bikashmul answers it. He says, the Rambam's opinion, how you define a law, is different than the Rashbam. The Rashbam understood why you cannot marry with a law, or Rashi and Tosa is all the same, is not like the Rambam. The Rajba understood that the problem with a loan, that the loan is not yours. When I gave the loan that's made to be spent, means I give you all the money, you can not only use it for money changing, you also can buy clothes and food with it. And you can eat the food, and you can rip the clothes. So it's gone, the money is made to be spent. Lo itzo nisna. So the money's by her already. So I'm just, reliefing is called, uh, I'm, I'm removing tviya, I'm removing mafkia tviya, I'm, I'm re uprooting a, 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 um, a claim. So it's hers. It's her money. So I remove any claim. It's nothing. So if I want to marry a woman alone, the reason she's married, because it's her money already. It's made to be spent. So Eino Shalom is not his to give. But he says, the Ramam learned differently. The Ramam learned that if I marry a woman alone, alone a loan is not hers. What does that mean? But she can take the money and burn it and eat with it food and burn the money. She just owes another money. He says, yes. You can burn the physical money, but the value is still mine. My value is by you. It's like a deposit. You can use the physical money, but the value is still by me. That debt is still mine. Go for a moment. It's mine. And my my money is by you. My value. My money is not kissed. But anyhow, moment is good for moment. It's considered my money. So therefore... It's Kesef. Yeah. Therefore, yes. Shvei Kesef is like Kesef, la la. So I say Kesef. So now, the Ramam says you can buy things with a debt. If I want to buy a house and I need to pay you money, he says, well, you know, hey, hey, Ronnie, you know, hey, you owe me money a long time, and you know, keep the loan by you and sell me a house. Wow, the loan is one million dollars. Fifty. Sure, here's my house. You can buy a house with a debt. Sure, you can buy a house with a debt. The Ramam says, not sure. The Ramam Shita, you could. The Ramam Shita. The Ramam Shita is that you can buy a house with a debt. The others that don't uh, that argue, there's reason why they argue. But the Ramam holds you could. So really, they hold a debt. The Ramam Shita is a debt is considered guf mamon. Just by kiddushi. It's a special law by marriage. The Torah says, Kicha, Ishatei. And by Kicha of Kiddushi, the Torah says, you cannot marry a woman with a puta, for example, that you have to give me a back. For example, Khalipi, Atonas Lachzi. Because the puta, even though Khalipi is Kesef, Kola Torah but by Kicha and Kiddushi, we learned to be Kashmur and Chaim proof that by Kicha and Kiddushi, we need a type of Kesef. That the pruto has to be, you have to have the pleasure of the physical pruto by you. And the, and the pruto cannot go back. If I, if I ever give me a pruto that I can pleasure from it for 10 days, I have to give, it, give the pruto back. So it's not a pruto. The pruto has to be sustainable. Kayo. To get pleasure from a pruto of sustainable pruto. This is the law of Kicha. So he says, that's the Ramam's answer. Ramam says, that's how I knock out the Rashbo. Rif Rashi, I knock out the whole story. He says, not even a problem. He says, to me, the Ramam says, what my Rebbe said are wrong. I can't even hear what they say. Because the Ramam understanding is a firm understanding all of Ashas. The Bikash will prove it also by, by, uh, also by, by Ribis. It's all the same. 
that the Rambam holds, the, how do I define a loan, the definition of a loan? The Rambam holds, a loan is considered guf mamon. It's my money by you. It's not I have rights of claim by you, I have a claim on it, of a loan. No, it's my money by you. My money is by you. And I can buy and sell with it. I can sanctify it, I can sell it, and I can acquire or even do acquisition with it. Sell it, that's definitely all the stock market is selling. That's sell it, I can sanctify it, and I can do even acquisition of it, kinyan of monetary acquisitions. The Rambam Shita. Therefore, he says, if that's my understanding, all over Shas, my gestalt, that's what he said, I can't even know what to say. It's a gestalt understanding. It's, it's a, a general picture of how do you define a loan, a debt. Ah! So if the Rambam Shita is that a loan is considered Guf Momo, and he says, I cannot accept totally, you can't even hear what my rabbis are saying. And if you follow through the Rambam all over Shas, boom, that's where he shoots his rabbis. He's totally, he's destroyed. He says, I only accept all over Shas, he argues the same argument. Where? We'll see soon. But therefore he says like this. He says, by us, by, by, by Hebrews, he says, so by us, he says like this. The pleasure of Rashi Tosad Rif is not what I'm talking about. It's totally not what I'm talking about. If you talk about pleasure and pleasure, what's the difference pleasure and pleasure be? You can make some quick, quick very quick, hard hiluki, but why your pleasure, even if you make it between Schoik and, and Rekoi, and the pleasure of Rashi and Rif, but why your pleasure is, is different. So you have to come to have a, a triangle hiluki. It's very hard. He says, no, you're wrong. It's not a question. It's not man with pleasure. It's not the point. Listen carefully. The Rambam holds that a debt is considered his mamon. Mamon shaloi is considered. He gave her money. He gave her mamon. He gave her. He gave her his value that is by her. That is deposited by her. She can use the physical money, but the value is deposited by her. She has to give us my money by her, my value by her, and that he gives her. That's his. Totally his. He can sanctify and marry. He can sell it. He can acquire with it, make an acquisition, and even he can see he gave a woman's money from him to her. Value. The problem is, yes, yes, yes. It's not the problem with, with the debt. It's not the problem. The problem is that by kich of kiddushi, you need that pleasure to be tangible. Be'ain. Be'ain, kayon. And where we learn it from? We learn from Khalipin. Why Khalipin, the Torah said, is out? Even though everywhere Khalipin is considered money, it's Kenyan Kesef. We learned this we right, Rabbeinu Tam, Rashi Dosh, we remember. Khalipin is really Kesef, called the Torah. But by Kiddushin, Kichav Kiddushin, the Torah said, you need to have Kesef Kayon. It needs to be a Pruto that, is a st that, is, that is stays by you. Or here we have to have, you have to have physical, uh, the pleasure has to be attached to a physical thing. It can be the bodies of the person. Schok he's, uh, he's doing it to her. What is the value? Wait, wait, listen carefully. But by alone, he says, when I forgive alone, the, the debt is the physical money is by her. The momoin, this good moment belongs to him. So he's giving her not tangible, untangible, untangible gift of a nasina, of keset, which call it a kula, we don't care. It's a considered gift of money. And you can buy and sell with it. But by kidushi, you need that money to be more, tan more has to be tangible. So where, how do I have a tangible money? In the beginning of the loan, I give her the physical money. So then what? Here, careful where that happens. So then I attach... I attach what? The future, the future usage of the money, I attach, which is, which, which what? Listen carefully, this is what I want to say today. This is the Kiddush of today. The Rambam can marry, the Rambam Nikhoi has two options. When he gives her money in the beginning, we have two ways to explain the Rambam. The Rambam can marry her, I'm giving you now money, which this money, I have, is my money, and all the usage is mine. So I'm giving you the rights to use this money. Like I'm giving you a car to rent, to use. So I'm giving you money, listen carefully to them. I'm giving you money to use for the next 60 days. Okay? The usage of money is attached to the money because usage of, usage of an object is attached to the object. Listen carefully. But what about when you use the object, my object, you accumulate debt. And then you owe me a debt. The owing is a result of the usage. So when the Raman says, when I give the money in the beginning, this is to you, Rabbi Yisrael, Rabbi Bo. When I give the money in the beginning, and I tell the woman I'm marrying you, 
with the extending of the time of using that money. Shimush, that's the Rambam's language. Shimush of usage of the money. I can explain the word shimush different. But I'm using that one. So I can explain in two ways, or three ways. Three ways. I can explain it to a street way, that that gift right now makes you happy and you're married with a pleasure. She says, what's a pleasure? Of, why this pleasure is better than the pleasure of Rashi and uh, Rashi, Reef and, 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 and Toysis? That's one option. Another option is, when I give you the money, I'm not married with the happiness of, of giving you, acquiring you zhus of the usage. I'm actually married with that usage. But that usage is the future. It's not now. So what? So now I'm saying, but it's worth money. And the physical money is here, so physical money and usage is worth now something. And without a marrying you, could be not the full value, but it's value right now. But that's what second option. Third option is I'm giving you now money, and after you're going to use, you're going to accumulate debt. And that with that debt, I'm marrying you. It's definitely not A and not C. It's B. Okay? This is this the Pshat. And I want to explain why. Why this is, Raman says, is the only way to solve the problem. Anything else is out of my mind, I can't even hear. Okay? This is the Raman's opinion. And the Raivet agrees to that premise. He just has enough of another solution. So listen carefully. Since the Raman's opinion is, listen careful. Since the Raman's opinion is that a debt is not a problem, it's not his, it is his. I can sell it, I can acquire. Just by marriage, you need it to be tangible. So then what happens? Then what happens? When I give the money in the beginning of the loan, and I says I marry you with the usage, I'm not marrying her with the result of the usage that accumulates debt, and I'm marrying with the debt. Because the debt is not tangible, like the middle of the loan, or the end of the 30th day, it's not tangible. I'm marrying you with the usage of the chavitz that's attached to the chavitz. That makes it kind. Because usage of the chavitz, shimush of chavitz, is attached to the chavitz. You see the chavitz himself. And when I'm giving her that right of usage, it's not right in the beginning. But not with the happiness that he gave me that. No, with the acquisition of acquiring her that right, I marry her. That considered tangible pleasure. Got it? That's why the Rambam said, I cannot any uh, any other way. Any other way, any other way, we in Tosha Sidi he knocks out according to the Sibor. He's saying that Tosha Sidi the Simcha that I, I like he said that Rabbi uh, Rabbi um, Feisher said that happiness if it's happiness it's not tangible the same way he says Rashi Simcha for giving the whole loan or extending the loan that Simcha is not tangible. If the Rabbi in the beginning of the le- lending of the money that was a high cash the cash was cash. If I'm married in the beginning of the loan of giving her a gift of you future usage and makes her happy is also not tangible. When I make it tangible, when I marry her now with a happiness, I'm marrying her with the usage of the object. And the usage of the object is, is connected to the object itself. That's the aim. So since in the beginning of the loan I'm giving her the, the physical object and I'm giving her rights in that object to use the future in the future. So right now I can I can I can Jumbo it and put it together. It says now she got rights of usage in the future, and it's and it's right now worth money. But now this worth money means I'm happy. It's like worth money. The usage is worth money, like and, and, and usage is not there. That is the result, and that's also not tangible. That's the point. What well, that's the hinge of today? It's not It's a mishabit. But but it's like the kelpevos. It is. Shibush is the kelpevos. But I'm not is is external. And it's not kind. That's kind of precious. That's kind of precious. I agree. I agree. But you could speak like him. That is simple. What is out? Because not kind. Yes. How can you make the pleasure tangible? Very good. Today, this yeah, after the shear, I'm going to come to your back. I'm going to rub your back and give you a massage. <laughs> it's tangible or not? No, it's in your mind. Okay. All pleasures in a person's mind, no, no friends, what do we call it? As results. But we call it, it comes from a person, it came from a physical person, and the person feels in his That's mind. Now we call it tangible. 
But alone, just one second. What this is why you learned to be. Yes. Why I Very good. But when I'm adding to this, you learned this. This is here, but what adding? But as I said, I'm talking to you. That that's how I knock out. This is the big the way the Kashmir oh, knocks out Rashi. Yes. I'm saying the perush of Simcha in the Rambam. No, it's the same problem of Rashi Tzitzit. That's what I want to answer. That's what I want to answer. Why can't Simcha work? I'm answering. That's how I'm answering. Why? This is answer. This is what I want to answer. Is that tangible? Answer. It needs to more more polishing. Tzchok lefonai don't have all the chorus is 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 a law of pleasure. But he's doing a ma'aser. He's doing a ma'aser. It comes from a ma'aser. Here, the happiness came through forgiving of the loan as a result of forgiving the loan. It seems the debt, if I'm not doing the usage, it, acquiring the usage, rather, is forgiving of the loan, happiness of giving the loan, external, all that is external. It, 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 it external comes from, from external comes from a pleasure, external pleasure that comes as a result of a loan. Since a loan is zero, whatever comes from zero is zero. Why? Zero plus, okay. <laughs> this needs polishing. Why? The Chorino comes to Beo. Let's start the old Shia again. Very this is where, now we start. Very little, very First of all, this, this is what he says. Now it comes, I want, I want to relate to what Beo is going to ask you. I have an answer. I have an answer. I want to hear what you have an answer. I would love to hear. The Kasha comes back, but Kasha comes back, but so called so, the pleasure, the pleasure came from his decision. The same way Schok Lefon and Kol Lefon are dancing, I attach it to somebody's body. That's considered tangible. Also, my forgiveness that makes her happy, why not look at it that is coming as a result of forgiving the loan and the loan is zero? Because we said the loan is not tangible, it's, it's, gift. it's a gift. But zero for King and Kiddushin is not Kayom. And the happiness that, that comes from some not Kayom is zero, is not Kayom too. Why? That happiness came from me, and I made that decision. That's Rashi's right. So that's how that is. The pleasure comes from me. That's what comes from, right? Mm -hmm. You have an answer for that? Yes, I did. If you say that Rashi and the Reef is in the Pasha of Schilos, like the Ramban and everyone mentioned, and the Ramban and the Rambam and the Rai that don't hold that that type of Anor is called Schilos. No, I'm not saying it's Schilos. I'm not arguing it's not the holds that this I'm saying that Ram can hold the schilos, but he still knocks it out. Listen carefully. Wait, the uh, this is the Kiddush of today, that you came to Antzion to hear this Kiddush. Listen why. Schilos is schilos? Could be schilos as well. That's his cash. So of course it came from him. The answer is no. Here cannot be schilos. Anywhere else, record the phone, I spoke the phone, it could be schilos, it could be unknown. And I'll explain what I mean I'll, on one foot, very short. I'll explain this because some Tamir Chachom is, I want to say, there's an Asidus that says like this. Mavriya Hari, if there's a line that comes by and I distance them away, if it's far away, it's not considered a pleasure. But if my head is already in his mouth, that's what Pesach defines. Roisha Betoch Ari, his head is in the mouth of the line, that's definitely considered that you need to pay. If somebody removes that, then you need to pay. He says, pain alone, since Mamoni Gabor, and you owe the money, so you didn't remove a headset. You remove Daiga. But that's, it was the right thing for me to pay, because not mine. He's taking something that's his. So he, he didn't remove a headset. He removed just Daiga. But if it was really removed, as let's say I owe money to a guy, a double and a shilto, he says, there, you remove a headset, because I don't really money. Of course, I've also, I don't know a guy. Or stand going, you know, governments make new taxes or whatever. Alilo is the make, used to make for Jews, la la alilo. So there, which you don't, I need to pay the money, but I don't owe it. There, definitely remove a hefsa, you need to pay. Okay? So listen carefully what I want to mark here in this list. Really, what do we say? To remove a hefsa is definitely, a real mucha hefsa is considered ano. In the Allah, the Ramos said the kufra of hefsa is considered ano, you have to pay for it. It's not considered a bria chari. If it's vada hefse. So if I have a debt, why is not considered to remove a hefse? Because it's not a hefse, it belongs to him. My money got my money's by you, he's taking his. And I don't remove a hefse, it's his. It's only bishar. So it's, it's only bishar, it's only remove a daigab. It's only remove a daigab. So it's nothing zero. It's not it's not the same. zero. So, now, so now let's think about what happened here. Here is different. Because here, I forgave the woman the loan. 
Listen carefully, I'm saying very deep things here. It's not uh, simple, but I want to define it with Allah Hashem. When I forgive alone, what really happened here? What action I did, I forgave the loan. That's an action. The pleasure of mishaber is a result. So, so, if I say I'm marrying you with the pleasure of, of forgiving the loan, now I have two ways I look at it. I have one way is I rented myself. I rented myself. Like Rashi says, you pay a, a puto to make someone to appease me. Or you paid me to make a decision to forgive you. So you paid me to make you happy. It's a So it's like rental. The Rambam says, no, that's what ha that's happening here. Because since, this is the language of the Rishon, if the loan itself is considered not money, be'ain for Kinyan Kiddushi, it's considered a sin of Guf Momo, but it's not considered money, be'ain to marry with it. So the pleasure that comes out of it it's, and, and, and that it came from him to her, it's also zero. It's also zero. But not because it didn't came from him, to, she got pleasure from him to her, but zero in reference to Kinyan Kiddushin. And Kinyan Kiddushin, Kiddushin needs Kayon, pleasure, that small pleasure, as a result of a big pleasure, gets attached to the big pleasure. And I don't attach it to my physical body as a paula that I did a paula for you. That's the point. That's the point. It's called Iker and Tofa. It's not Iker and Tofa the Chazonish, that ain't in Yodol Yodol. Is it what I'm saying now? Is this is the big hint. Where is all this in the beer? It has to be because of my genie answers cash. Where is it? I will show you inside. This is Hashem. But first understand. Then ask where is it? The understanding is that you need pleasure of Kaya. And if alone, it is a pleasure. This is the point. Forgiving the loan. You owe one million dollars, and I forgive you the loan. The biggest pleasure that I forgave you the one million dollars. That's a siluk. Siluk, but it, no, the, but it's the scene this moment. Where's the scene? The other holds is you can sell with this. I gave you, I gave you mama. No mama, it's, we mama. It's good for mama, and it's the biggest pleasure. Where is it until then? It's the biggest pleasure. We're not arguing. It's not pleasure. It's a very big pleasure. Big. But it's not tangible. You cannot marry with it. The minor pleasure that comes out of it as a result, as a chain reaction, right? It's not possible to refocus and to say, wait a second. The loan itself is zero, because it's not tangible reference to Kiddushi. And the chain reaction, a small pleasure that you're happy that, that, that I made that decision, not the, not the money itself that, is, that, you, that I gave you, not the debt itself that I gave you, just a chain reaction of happiness, it's not possible that ought to be considered kind because of, because it's a, a reaction, it's a cause of the original. So true, that came from my decision, but my decision is, doesn't attach that pleasure because it's a result, it's a chain reaction of the big pleasure. This is a small pleasure as a result of the big pleasure. So although that result, it came from my decision, it's like schok lefonai kol lefonai, but there, that's the only pleasure I'm marrying you. I'm marrying with the schok and lekoi. Here, I'm marrying you with the pleasure of the law. A result of the law is attached to the law. So therefore, since the loan is zero, why? Because zero for king and kiddushin, because it's not tangible. That pleasure, is, that as a result, is also not tangible. So therefore, I look at a zero. But if I just marry you, I want to make you happy, I want to dance. So it's, from, it's a pleasure that came from my body that I dance to you. That this is what I'm marrying you with. A double a shilto, and I'm not saying I remove the debt from the shilto. Since I will speak, so I'm, 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 I'm saying I'm married with the speech, with my words. So the focus, the marriage, is on me doing a pool for you. That's the, that's the subject. Schoik lefon, I do this action. Rekoi lefon, I do you dance. A double shilto, I will speak to the marriage. It's talking about speaking. And I'm saying I'll marry you with the pleasure I remove the debt from the shilto thing. It's different. When I'm married with the debt, with the happiness of the debt, so it's a chain reaction of the debt, since the debt is zero, reference to Kinyan Kiddushin because not tangible, is a big pleasure. It's pleasure I gave her. And you can buy and sell with it. And you can sanctify it. Hegdesh, Mehem, Kinyan works. 
but kiddush in intangible, it cannot be that's that's giyora mesh mesh ma'ya. The Rabbi Hanan and all the Rishonim say it's it's an, it's 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 a, a, up on the roof. How could be that the milv itself is zero and the chain reaction because it's not tangible, the chain will be something. And Amos says they're off. Everything is off. Okay. This is what the Big Kashim was saying. This is what we're going to say today. But we're not finished to this subject. What the Raiver holds, and here there's a difference between the Raiver and the Raiver. The Raiver holds that in the end of the 30th day, when the money's in my hand, so then what happens? In 30 days, the money's not tangible. It's a big pleasure. If I if you give it a loan in the 30th day, it's pleasure, but it's not tangible. In the end of the 30th day, when I give you the loan and the money's in my hands, so then I'm, ten, I'm putting the, the, that happiness to be tangible to the usage of the physical money that I'm ready paid, to be pay, prepared to be paid. So that I do not a kosher in the Ramam's case when the money is a physical in the husband's hand, but enough to come out of that even less since I did give her pleasure, and I gave her a big pleasure because give, giving the loan, and we said giving the loan is not the debt. Giving a loan is the usage of the money because the debt is a big gift, but it's not tangible. How do I remove debt to be tangible? Because I don't look at the result of the, how I accumulate the debt. I'm looking at the, re the reason of the debt. is the usage of the money. And the usage of the money didn't attach to the money. So the guy that says, in the end of the 30th day, and this is where the Bikash Muad changes in the end, the Ramam and the Haifid. He says like this, this is what the Kiddush I want to tell you everybody today. He starts in the beginning that the Ramam holds that meal of his Hufa Mama. And then in the end he says, no, the Ramam and the Haifid argue with that. That the Ramam holds, who can sign? Who can sign? Now I want to explain what he retracted. He didn't retract, he redefined it. In Zion he says like this. The Das Rambam in the last paragraph. The last are two lines before the last paragraph. The Bible holds that the money in the end of the 30th day is, I gave her the debt, and debt is considered pleasure, a gift. Just to be tangible, and end of the 30th day, since the woman holds the money, and she prepared to pay it, and makes that pleasure to be tangible. What the Rambam argues, this is what I want to say today. The Das Rambam varit vohi. The Afal gav the milva peyochol akdishul yiko. Even though alone, an or alone, I can sanctify and sell. Zos chus mama mechurish medina no. It's a right of money that's renewable from the laws of pleasure. Kemosh kotzav ani muim the milva of kesef mosh kesef. Alone, according to the Rambam, is not money and there's not value of money. It's a new. I can give you pleasure, but it has to be a renewal pleasure. That's how I define a choyv. The name is the Kakos of Ram. The Adonim brings that the Ram wrote the name of the Ritvo. The Shtor Islam ne Guvayim de Milvah is a Milvah. Mikolo Kama Milvah ain't no Gufa Momon. Wait a second, he before said Milvah is Gufa Momon. But he redefines. The Akensil Ram and Ribis, the Alvas Tvir and the Mikhala Pansh, the Kasmud Meneshe, the Arai, the Polygons, the Sila, the Moisa Muzumoni, the Odoni Froya. I want to explain what he's saying. He's saying like this very carefully. There's a big split within the Rambam and the Raivet in that sense. He said the Rambam and the Raivet both agree that alone you can buy and sell. So alone is considered Guf Momon. But the Raivet goes all the way to the end with it. That when I give a woman a loan, even in 30 days, I gave her. I gave her a real goof mama. It's a gift. Just not tangible. And the end of the 30th day, when the money's in my hand and ready to be paid, I can attach that gift of pleasure to the money because this money is ready to be paid back to me. And I'm leaving it by her. And I said, This money, the usage, the shimush of this money is yours. She so gave her physical pleasure because the shimush is attached to the physical money and it's right prepared. The Ramam holds no. The Ramam says, although it's considered Gufa Momoi, but doesn't have the same level of Gufa Momoi. And he brings the name of the Gris before the paragraph Gimel. He calls it, he calls it, he says it, he calls it like this. It, it, he says, in the Sinas Valvas Tvil. It's a gift of a loan, of, of, of a claim of a loan. 
So he's not saying it's a gift and you can marry with it, but it's, it's, he doesn't say afkoa, it's not afkoa, it's an asima of tviya. I'm giving her a claim. It's not I'm uprooting afkoa tviya of claim. I'm giving her. It's considered a gift. I can marry, I can sell with it. I can sanctify it. I can sell with it. I can make an acquisition. But for marriage, I look at it as an asima of tviya. And the seal of tefillah that I'm of holds is not enough. You need to have a real physical money to make it not tefillah, to make it in a seal of shleim of mom and manish. That's the argument between the Rambam and the Raya. So he's making our new box. He says before, in order to, in the, like he, he makes everybody think slowly and process. First he makes the Rambam holds, you need to tangible. So he says the pleasure of Rashi and Reef is not tangible. And the Ramam Hall, because it's, it's, it's external pleasure of not, the, of not the money. The loan, the Ramam holds is a gift. But I'm not marrying her with a gift with the loan, because it's not tangible. I'm marrying with the usage of the money, and that use of the money is tangible. So what is he really saying here? This is Rabbi Soil, Baruch Rabbi. What is he saying really? He's saying that the Ramam, when he's giving her the money in the beginning of the loan, he's not marrying her with a loan that is attached to money. Because the debt, a loan I call it debt. The debt is a result of the usage. That's not considered tangible. He's marrying her with what? With the usage of the money that he's giving her now rights in the beginning of physical money with rights of using of the money. And using the money, shimush of the chayfetz is considered connected to the chayfetz right now. And it's worth value. That requirement is worth value. Like Toysi. But he's not marrying her. I'm giving you money that you're going to use and you can accumulate debt and, 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 and that's yours. And the debt is yours of those 30 days. No. Because debt, although it's a gift, that you can buy and sell with it, but it's not kayom, it's external. It's not considered attached to the chepet, to consider it kayom to marry with. And that's why definitely Rashi's out. The Anoa Simcha, Anoa Stuboy, definitely is out. Because definitely is external. It's not attached to the money. So that's definitely out. And so you cannot. Rival. And the rival holds, no. The rival holds that I can marry with the law. With the law, because the law is considered. I, I can attach the loan because the rival holds that loan is considered good for moment manish legami. Just for kiddush, you need kayom, so you have physical money, it's come. So what he did is, he basically took the coat of the Rambam in the beginning that he told us the Rambam, he put on the rival. And he says, now the Rambam is pulling back. The Rambam holds a loan, it's good for moment in reference to mechila, but it's not manish good for moment in reference to kiddush. So I'm not marrying with a loan, because if I married alone, like if, if, the, if, if I could marry alone, and just the problem alone is not attached, the Ivan is right, now the money's prepared, so I can attach the loan, the debt, an old loan, to the physical money, so the Ivan is right. Then I'm messing out to pull back. He says, no, I'm arguing. I really hold that although the loan is considered a gift and a sina for Mehet, but for Kiddushi, a loan can never be attached to the Khafiz. Even if the money is Mizumon. Because now marriage is good for a moment. And he has an explanation why. And that's why Baribis, it's not considered Ribis Ksutsun after once the loan was made. Only the beginning, and what beginning I'm marrying with, I'm not marrying with the loan. I'm marrying with the usage. That's which are clear, that's a C, but that's the reason of the loan. It's the same as the Khazanish, it's Haskaras Mom. Askaras Mom, yes. Happy. It's very deep. Those that learned the Sugi are well understand what I'm saying. Yes. The Kasha of the Oshiva was basing all this on. Yes. But how come the Rambam doesn't agree with the Rashi Correct. that he can marry with her mom? Correct. This Kasha of the, the Rambam, why didn't the Rambam marry with her mom? That was the Rambam's Kasha under him. Correct. 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 Nothing can ask. No, we want to know why. How can you, you cannot just say, my mind is on. On the middle of another, I know, like the Rishonim may answer. Oh. It's not Kavon. If the Ramam says they are wrong, I can't even hear. It's not under my control. It's not under my understanding. It has to be that he has a different control than understanding how the definition of the thing. It's not a matter of what you're thinking of, what, what the woman is thinking, their condition. That cannot be an argument. I cannot even hear what they say. You think in those words, that's what you say, an idea. If he said, I cannot even hear, it means I'm arguing on the whole definition, my gestalt understanding of what is alone. So he's saying, he's saying like this, the Rasmus learned that alone means not his. It's not his to give. The Rambam learns alone it is his. And I gave, I can sell with it. 
It's mine. So be Mikudeshes, no, because I can never attach. Listen, because I can never attach the loan to the money. And even in our Eri, the enemy, because we'll Eri, that you cannot attach the loan to the money, even in the beginning you cannot attach. What you can marry in the beginning with the usage of the money. Shimush Chayyim does not attach to the money. But the result of the usage accumulates a debt, the result of that which is a debt, even in the beginning you cannot marry because you cannot connect the debt to the money itself, to the body of the so of the, of the, of the Chayyim. But the Raivet, one second, but the Raivet holds, no, I don't have to marry with the usage in the beginning of the loan. I can marry even with the loan itself. So in the beginning, I don't have to come up to the result, uh, which, which I accumulate of the usage of the debt. Because I have now, I didn't start to use, I can marry with the usage, like the Rambam. But the Raivet adds more than that. Even already the loan was made, and the money's made to be prepared, so he's not saying that the money suddenly, it's a new loan. He's not saying that. He's saying that really, according to the Ivan, I can marry now with the usage of the money. I can marry with the result of the usage of, of the loan itself, of the debt. Just I have a technical problem that you attach that pleasure of a debt, of a gift, to something kayam, since the money's prepared, I attach it. This is a big question. Where is this? If anyone in the studio has to dance on the table and not only dance on your head, like Schokle for the Kolofo. Understand, it's unbelievable. I'm kissing the big Now, I want to explain to Rabbi Fisher. Yes. Uh, I want to hear, I want to hear. Now I'm ready to hear. Just one second. Should say over the Gemara, the Abaye, in the words of the Correct. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Omar Abaye. Omar Abaye. I'm a Kaddish and Milvedu Kudeshes. I cannot marry with all existing law. Why? Why can I never exist alone? Because alone it's a great pleasure and if I forgive the time alone and, and you're giving money, but by, and you can maybe buy and sell with it, but it's not double kayom. So when I can marry her with it, but no asmil, the Gemara explains extending the time. And what is the how does the right? And the Rambam and the defines, the Rambam defines, what is ano of a milve? Ano, not of the usage of the money. Ano means a gift of the loan. The pleasure of a gift of a loan I can marry if the money, if the money is Mesuma. Because it's still there. It's still there. Karshik in the case of the Rabbah. Or most of the case in the beginning of the loan that I'm not marrying with the result of the usage. That I'm giving you money that you're going to use for the next 60 days. You're going to have accumulated debt. I'm marrying without debt. No. I'm giving you money with, with the, I'm giving you a king of, of right now in this money Kingdom decorative voice, I'm giving you now kingdom in the money for usage for the next 60 days. And that usage I'm marrying with you. So the usage it is attached to the money. The highest is Kolacha, almost I agree that it's not attached, and definitely it's, it's, it's Kayon. But then I've been all, no, I don't have to come out to see who's most to be attached to the money. I can even, even and after 30 days, when the money's in my hands, I don't have to come out to Rabbeinu Hanan, I have to take and give it back. No, the money could be Rabbeinu Hanan, my Rebbe, Moshe Hirsch. He had a suffix where I put the Rabbeinu Hanada. I put him with the Raiman. He just says, like the Mashmah, like this is three, that he, that he took it for that. So taking the money for giving back, it's really making the loan to be attached to the, to the physical money. But I really marry with a loan, or Rabbeinu Hanada really learns, and once I take the money, give it back, it's like the Rambam, I'm marrying with the Sri so He had a suffix for that. It's not clear, because what does it say what Rabbeinu Hanada says? He said, he said, I know, but not Rabbeinu Hanan. Rabbeinu Hanan, for me, is a suffix. Where I put him? I put him with the Rambam, I put him with the Raiman. But the Raiman and the Rambam definitely argue, yes, Rabbeinu Hanan. I know what the Rambam says. And the Rambam says, it's the Rambam. Okay, if you want to put that, that's good. Okay, but this Rambam is actually showing him how to define Rabbeinu Hanan. If you look carefully, he's showing him, it's not clear what Rabbeinu Hanan is. Okay. So it's like the Rambam. So, so, so we are, and, and Rabbeinu Hanan, he didn't say this word. You can explain it in two ways. Some of the will take one or the other. Where but in, in the meantime, he says the Where does that shimu? No, the Rambam uses the language shimu. That's the language of the Rambam. He uses the word misinas. Yes. Misinas a kesef. Where does it say shimu? The, the Rosh Hashim is using the word shimu for everybody. Where does Rabbeinu Shmuel ever use such a word? In the last part, in Aleph, in the last two lines. Zehu she kosav Rambam, shari yesh la anom ato li ishtamesh. Ba mil bezvah mojah. Ishtamesh. Li ishtamesh. Okay. So now, 
So it comes out of now I want to s- wait a second, I want to hear, yes, what do you want to say? Just the, the <laughs> sequel in the Ravid. I want to summarize, okay, before we hear him. In, in, the, in the, the, the Ravid, yes. the Ravid, 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 and why the Ram could hold up the Raivet? Because he says, the loan is far out, I cannot attach the loan, the Choy, to the money. It is, it is more Kufa and Mormon, it's not enough Kufa and to attach it to Bay. But the Schius Mois, that I could attach. That's what the Ram says, only beginning, not in the middle, not, in, not, in, not after 30 days. But the Raivet says, I agree to the Ram, but I don't have to come at that, even better, I can, even the loan I can attach. But the Raivet, but the Reef, he says, no. I even at, I, 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 I look on the pleasure that comes out from the beginning of the whole law. It's like Schoplefona, it came from me to her, although it's a result, it's a chain reaction of the law, but it came from me. So it's direct, directly for me to hear. That's all, it's a direct pleasure. Okay, this is the summarize of the subject. Yes, what do you want to say to Prime? Ah, so I want to say why your Pshad is for. This is exactly the point. And then I want you to answer me. I'll be very happy to hear. I'm saying why according to Bilkashmua he's knocking it off. Because we say, according to the premise, the Rambam, that we see the Rambam holds that you need to have something to be attached. You have to have the money to be attached. You have to have the pleasure, sorry, in the final words. You have to have the pleasure that I'm marrying a woman to be attached to physical money or physical body. So usage of the money is attached. A loan is not attached to the money. Kalva a chain reaction of happiness that extends the time, I forget the whole loan. So, so if, if I gave her money in the beginning, what do I marry her with? So the because Shmuel is defining, I'm giving her money, and I'm saying, now you have rights to this money to use that money, to usage. So the usage is attached to the money. But if I'm saying, give you your money, now you for 60 days, so you're, oh, I'm happy, instead of giving me 30, I gave me 60, now in my mind, I'm happy, and he married with a happiness, he says, that's not attached to money, because that's the same thing of the Rashi and the Rambam. If, if the Rambam says the reef is off, because it's not attached to the money, also this is off. What's the difference? Because the, the, the Rambam holds, the, even the Raivet is off. If the Raivet is off means the loan itself, that I renew the loan in the end of the 30 days, the Rambam holds it off, Right? So surely the pleasure of in the time of the giving of the loan is over. It's not attached to the money. It's out. That's why the, the Ram cannot accept or because we're not accepting this shot in, in the Rambam, in the words of the Teresa Srid, which maybe somebody make a mistake think that's what he's saying. That cannot be. This is what I want to say today. Now I want to hear you. Yes. So first of all, I say it's a mistake what you're saying. Oh, yes. is because you, you take a mishap and you made it an eager. You said it's attached to his like the thing. That can't be. What, what I said, and what reference? You said, you said that, no, I want that to be the of the money and ability to sell it and this and that is like the money itself. It, 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 it has, it's like usage of money. You understand okay, what usage of money means? Yeah, I know you. What is usage? The way you. Uh, I the way I define it. Usage, usage so I, want to, I want to be clarified before you ask a question to know that what I'm saying to, to know a question when you ask it. If I have an animal and I give it to you to use, yeah. that usage is what? Is it is chaber? It's part of the animal. What is it? If I give you money that you can, you when can you use it, or when, or when you actually use it, or when you gave it to the usage, which both, is both, which both, both. No, it's both. So you tell me the difference. I'm asking both. When, I want to know both. When you give it, yes. So, so it's conceptual, and it's 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 the it's what it can be in the future used for. So you have a. So when you rent a car, what do you what do you rent? Explain. Explain. I want to know how you define in your mind. When, you when I go and I rent a car. How do I look at the rent? I rented a car, I rental rent. Usually it's conceptual or it's attached to the car. At, at, the, point at the beginning, at the point when you rent, you put your credit card and you it's swipe it. What did you buy? It's conceptual. You have it. Conceptual? Have, have, yeah, it's conceptual because, because you have the ability in your mind that you can. And it's not, and it's not right. Just a second. Yes. So you paid for let him, let him, let him. We waited all this time. Let him say. Please. When you're renting the car, at the moment when you're renting it, what's in your mind is you now are acquiring an ability to do what you want to accomplish, which is to use it in the future. So that's conceptual. It, that, what the pleasure you have is 
before you couldn't do what you wanted to do, you couldn't get from A to B with, with a V. Like that's full potential. Just a second, just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. That's the right decision. Now it's 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 only in, in, in your mind at the moment when you when you're renting the car you 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 now before that moment you didn't have an ability to do what you want to do get from here to here when you're now renting the car in your mind you now got the ability when you the next step so that year. ability how so do that, you get so that, you know, get that, that how do you get that the ability? pleasure that you got from having the ability is a conceptual. That, that, that would, I would want to define what, I, what that so ability. That has value to you. That, that ability is conceptual. That ability is in the in the object. That, that, that it's right in the object. Or not? It's mamela. It's right in the object. But I mean, mamela. Yeah, what I no, bought. It's just mamela. What I when I read the car. Because the ikar, because the ikar, because the ikar is your conceptual. The, 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 no, the, the ikar is that you have now a thing that you didn't have before. That you have the ability to have a thing that you. Didn't I know have that. I know yeah, that. So that's conceptual. Yeah, but it, I, I mean, that's we know. Conceptual. We know that. We know that. You, we know that. We're asking something else. What are you asking? We're asking can it be more? Is it more? It, yes, right in the object for that conceptual. That, that's mamela. But that ability has he has a, not, it's a mamela or yeah, the, or the conceptual situation. It's, it's, it's a mamela. Is right in the object for that conceptual or is not right? Is it, it, only conceptual? No, those rights, those rights are are, are are physical in the object or not? It's attached to the object, mischab or not? This is our question. Uh, we know there's also conceptual. The question is more than that. But the biggest one's always in conceptual. No, I'm asking, I'm asking you. Don't tell me because you want. I'm asking you. When you rent a car, what happens? So I'll tell you, the Gemara says, when you the Gemara says many times, the, 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 the pleasure, so. not the rental, the pleasure of the rental. I'm talking about what is rental. The rental. How do you define rental, usage of the, the, of the when, when you, until you Until you make use of what you got because you rented it, it's all, it's all conceptual. Oh, yes. After you, now you got it and you paid the money and now you... No, but you don't have the, rights for it, you didn't buy the rights right now. When you, when you, yeah, you, 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 you bought, yeah, you, that's all. You, you bought that right, that's all. That's, that's all. 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 If I, have a, if I have a tree and I want to sell the future fruits that will grow, it's get those oil. But if I sell you rights in the tree for fruits, for, for using the fruits of the tree later on, it will come on, it's considered bull oil. That's the, that's the high case. Okay, and therefore what? What does that prove? So what does that prove? That proves that when I'm selling you, I'm giving you an object to use it in the next 10 days future, it's right now I'm giving you an object rights for usage for future usage and stuff. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's why. That's a, that's why it's called mischabe. It's part of it. But but I know it's external. That's all. That's all we said. Okay. I want to say the chazanish. You didn't let me prove what I'm proving. You said this wrong. You said this wrong. No, you didn't understand it. You did not understand it. Okay, I'm giving another. I'm giving another minute. Not true. So go ahead and say it again, or say something else. I want to hear. When you talk about use miss. Mistamsus, the, yes. the, the, the lesson. Yes. You're, you're learning mistamsus as as lemaisa. I'm learning as conceptual. I agree. Great conceptual. I agree. I'm not disagreeing. Just a second. Just a second. Yes. Now, now the the ikur of the rabbam, the is does not learn like that. Is or is learning the yunus understanding it is that it's that it's the time. It's the it, extending of time. It's an union of time. Not not not. Not, not the usage that comes out of the time that's relevant to the thing. It's the time itself. It's the extending the time. It's the, it's the pleasures. So of how do I give time? And it, it's very simple. Because the standard, when you give, you're talking about giving in the moment, not, yes. not giving the moment. Giving in the moment time. How am I giving in the moment? When you, make, when you make the arrangement of the loan, yes. and, and you say, this, I'm giving you this loan, and I'm not giving you the standard time of repayment. I'm giving you right now, in, in the terms of the loan, I'm giving you much more time than the standard thing. Right. Now, that, now, the pleasure that, 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 that in a woman's mind, of her, 
of her perception of taking this loan with that condition in the loan. That condition is the eker. Yes. It's the zman that she has such an extended right, time. Right. With. So, so the, that, the ple- we call that the mechanic is the pleasure. The pleasure is that she has, that she knows in her mind that, that after she gets the money, she can go out of her mind for, for six months thinking about the loan. Right, so I'm not arguing with that. So what, You're in the same chair. I'm arguing with you more. Where did it come from? I'm saying more. Where did, where did it come from? from? Because she has rights in the money of usage or not? That's the question. It's not a matter of I thought the rights is not the point. You it is the point. point. This oh, is the point. point. I said it's not the point. I'm why not? I'm telling you. I'm why. Asking, there's I'm more not. Answer. I'm I'm give you the reason, the reason 30 seconds. The reason is why is because the money is the equal, not, not the right. Yeah, I agree to that. So, so, so I'm not asking that. I'm asking where it came out. I'm asking where it came from. Where the, where the time come from? Yes. His, from his active this definition of... So can I, can I sell time or has to be attached to another? Can I sell her and buy it? She, she's can I sell time? time? Can you sell time? Yes. yes. No. Don't worship a lawyer. No, I cannot sell. No, that's not true. It's not true. So look at the sukkahs. That, 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 but that's not true in this case. It, it, it is, it is, it is. You said it is. is. Ain't a boy though. Bring your wire. The, 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 the no, Nikosh was saying, ain't a boy though. It's not in the world. That's X is X. It's not in the world. It's not in the world. It's future. And I'm not saying. Uh, that, Dehambam that's says, only shy Dehambam says, I, the Gemara page is 63 says. That's only a says, statement that's not relevant to the It case. is a time no, is future. So, but so what, but it's not this particular future. Future time is future, that's it. That, that's so what, but that's not, that's the point over here. It is the point. No, it isn't. That's not a lie. It's not true. It's a lie. Okay. You, you, you understand it properly. I'm sorry. Okay. With all due respect, you understand it properly. Sir. Okay. I got it. Uh, like I got your point. point. Everybody heard what you said. Good. Now, what the Chazoni says. The Chazoni says like this. The Chazoni says, he brings a, a Tosfot in page 52. The Mishnah says, if somebody marries a woman with his share in the Korban, a Mekadosh Bechelko, he marries a woman with a share of his Korban. So the law is, if I marry a woman with a share of his Korban, she's not Mekodesh. So Tosfot they asks, why should not be Kodeshi? What's the difference between the pleasure of Schoik Lefona, Dekot Lefona, and Dabba Nashiltoi? It's pleasure. So I marry, although he's a Kohen, and he's giving her a share in the Koban, but it's a share in the Koban, she can eat it. It's pleasure. So Toysa says no. But since the pleasure came from Shulchan Gavo, a table of heaven, so therefore, is not considered that he gave from her to him. Miyodo liyodo. She got the pleasure in the cause of him. It's not from him. It's from Gavoa. But dancing, laughing, a double of shiltoi is his dipu. It's his. Where his mouth is his. She's giving her pleasure when he's speaking to her. So it's directly from him to her. This is what the Teresa says. So Teresa Shonin asks, well, wait a second. But the coin can sell it. I'm talking about no more money. You can sell it. So it's, it's money. He says, no. But you can sell something as a gift from Gavoah. It's, it's since it came from Gavoah, from the table of heaven, so even when you can sell it to others, and it's, but it's considered something that didn't come from him. Because I can sell something that I can cause you to get pleasure. But I cannot marry a woman that I can cause a pleasure if it didn't come from me. If it's not mine, it didn't come from my hand to her hand. This is Tosla. Come to Chazonish, this is the, this is the Rambam. The Rambam holds that to marry with a loan, I cannot marry with a loan, because loan is not his. It's, it's of course, of us, it stays by her. But in the beginning of the loan, he says what happens here? In the beginning of the loan, that it came from him to her. In the 30 days, on the end of the 30 days that Amam holds, she got pleasure as a result. But it didn't come from him, because the money's by her. Since the money's by her, true, he caused her to hold the money, but it's not considered that money came from him to her, because the, because, because the money itself is by her, by a loan. But in the beginning of the loan, he says this day is different. I'm giving her now money from my hand to her hand. The usage of the money, that's how it works. This is the Chazonish. Okay? The problem we have with this is that since we see the Ramam Hosa by Mechel against the Chazonish, 
by Mecha you can marry, you can sell with a loan. So you can't say it didn't come from him to her. And I will say, by Mecher, by Mecher, I can sell something which is not mine as long as you got as a, a cause for you to, to receive. Like I can sell to him as I know as moment. To him as I know I can sell. But if we're going to hold that the loan is good for moments, it's considered his money. Mamoy Nigabok. So I cannot use this answer of the, of, of, of the Chazonish. And more than that. He's saying that the Ika of the loan is something that come from him to her. From him to, from her, from him to her. So therefore the happiness that comes like Rashi in the Reef, the happiness when I forgive the loan, that happiness, uh, the, the, the minority of the loan, the, mi the minority of happiness, the chain reaction of happiness, has to be attached to the loan itself. It's just the loan itself, it's, it's not a gift from him to her. Not because not the aim, like the Mikash War. It's because, it's, uh, uh, because is, I didn't give her anything. So therefore the happiness that comes from that, it's a, it's a, it's a result, chain reaction, that didn't come from him to her. So the big Kashmul is really saying that the problem of alone, it is alone, it is a gift, it's Kufa Momo. But in the 30th day, to give that Kufa Momo is not because my Kiddush was not attached to money. So the only, according to that, the only thing I can marry is only with usage of money. Because there is much more Mishaber to the to the to the to the Shimush Bechavetz is like the Chavetz Bein. So only in the beginning of the loan, I can attach that Shimush. So the, the Chazonish is basically saying, really, that the Rambam, this is where the Chazonish, we say, fall into a trap, kind of. Because he has to make Chiluki in He has to say, the loan itself is, of course, also, it's like, I didn't give you something. But in the beginning of the loan, it came from him to her. So if that's why, in the beginning of the loan, he said, that's considered, I know that he gave her. So also, if I forgive in the middle of the 30 days, I forgive the whole loan. So true, the loan itself is not from him. But the happiness, it's, it's a chain reaction that came from me. So it's still a pleasure for me. So why that is off? Why I look at it since the Me'ikar Alvo is, is Enu Miyodo Liyodo, so also the result of the Simcha, Teva San Osoi, is also off. The mind goes after the Ikar, but the mind I can define it as Anor, it came from me to her. But the Bilka Shmuel is saying something else. The Bilka is stronger. But the Bilka is saying, that really anything that is offside, even alone itself, I cannot marry contra the Ramba. I can sell, but I cannot marry contra the Ramba. Why? It's not tangible. So surely the pleasure is out. But the only way to marry a woman is with Shimus of the Mars. That's only can happen in the beginning. But in, 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 but in the beginning, if I decide I don't want to marry with the Shimus of the Mars, I want to marry with the pleasure that I'm giving you the uses of uh, that you cannot, because it's, it's again, it's not mishabbat. So it's not a matter that is near the money as to be in his of the money. The Chavonish one has to be near. So if the equal is out, the minor is also out, this unknown is out, but if, but if the, if the Shibush of the Moist beginning is in, so also, also that I know, according to the big, according to Chazonish, in the beginning of the loan, if I tell the one, I don't want to marry you with the usage of the money, I want to marry you with the Sim Hasan Nefesh that I agreed to lend you the money. You're able to be married because attached to the money. So if that, I know it could be attached, also in the middle, to be attached. We define it, came from me to her. Okay, this is the Hazrat. I just want to say a word of Musa. Very important word of Musa. 